In the vast expanse of the Nevada desert, there lies a place of mystery and intrigue, the Tonopah Test Range. Known for its association with classified military activities and rumored extraterrestrial encounters, this remote desert facility has long captured the imaginations of people. It was against this backdrop that one online user, an amateur archaeologist and self-proclaimed explorer of the unknown, found himself drawn to the mysteries of the Tonopah Test Range. Armed with little more than a laptop and an internet connection, the man reported that he spent countless hours scouring satellite imagery of the Nevada desert in search of anomalies that might hint at hidden secrets beneath the surface. It was during one of these late-night browsing sessions that he stumbled upon something truly remarkable, a pyramid-shaped structure nestled amidst the desolate terrain of the Tonopah Test Range. At first glance, it appeared to be nothing more than a trick of light and shadow, a mirage conjured by the harsh desert sun. But as he zoomed in closer, he realized that what he had discovered was no mere illusion. It was a solid black pyramid, its geometric form unmistakable against the backdrop of the desert landscape. Excited by his discovery, he set out to learn more about the mysterious structure he had uncovered. Using satellite imagery and topographical maps, he carefully plotted his course, determined to reach the pyramid and unlock the secrets it held within. However, he quickly realized that due to its location, he would never be able to get close to it, and so he decided to upload photographs of it to social media. Interestingly, occurrences of mysterious objects in the desert have been noted before, prompting speculation that these vast, barren areas serve as ideal sites for experimental activities. The idea that deserts are conducive environments for conducting experiments has triggered discussions and theories among researchers and enthusiasts. Military installations in deserts are often regarded as ideal locations for conducting secretive experiments away from the prying eyes of the public for several compelling reasons. These barren, uninhabited expanses offer a level of seclusion and security that is difficult to replicate in more densely populated areas, making them well suited for the clandestine activities of military and government agencies. Firstly, the vast and desolate nature of deserts provides a natural barrier against unwanted intrusion. With vast stretches of arid land devoid of significant human habitation, deserts offer a degree of isolation and concealment that is crucial for keeping sensitive operations under wraps, and this isolation minimizes the risk of accidental exposure or interference from civilians, journalists or competing nations, allowing military installations to operate with a greater degree of secrecy and autonomy. Moreover, the harsh environmental conditions of deserts serve as a deterrent to unauthorized access. Extreme temperatures, shifting sand dunes, and rugged terrain make deserts inhospitable and challenging to navigate without proper equipment and training. As a result, potential trespassers are deterred from attempting to breach the perimeter of military installations, further enhancing the security and confidentiality of the facilities. Additionally, the remote location of desert installations affords greater control over access and surveillance. Military bases situated in deserts often have well-defined perimeters secured by fencing, checkpoints and surveillance technology, allowing authorities to monitor and control entry and exit points with precision. This enables military personnel to screen individuals and vehicles entering the installation, mitigating the risk of unauthorized personnel gaining access to sensitive areas. Furthermore, the expansive and open terrain of deserts provides ample space for conducting large-scale experiments and test flights without interference. Whether testing new weapons systems, conducting training exercises, or experimenting with advanced technologies, military installations in deserts offer the freedom and flexibility to operate without constraints imposed by urban development or airspace restrictions. This expansive testing ground allows military agencies to push the boundaries of innovation and explore cutting-edge capabilities in a controlled environment. Moreover, the remote and isolated nature of desert installations minimizes the risk of collateral damage or public scrutiny in the event of accidents or mishaps. In the event of an unforeseen incident, such as a test failure or equipment malfunction, the sparsely populated surroundings of deserts reduce the likelihood of harm to civilians or damage to civilian infrastructure, thereby mitigating the potential fallout and public backlash. Lastly, the secrecy surrounding military installations in deserts serves to protect classified information and maintain strategic advantage. 
By conducting experiments and operations away from public scrutiny, military agencies can safeguard sensitive technologies, tactics, and intelligence from adversaries seeking to gain an edge. This clandestine approach allows military installations to maintain a veil of secrecy around their activities, preserving the element of surprise and strategic ambiguity crucial for national security. The Madison County Sheriff's Office posted the following on social media. The Madison County Sheriff's Office is investigating the passing and mutilation of cattle along TXOSR. Ranchers reported that a six-year-old Longhorn Cross cow had been found lying on her side, deceased and disfigured on their ranch. A straight, clean cut, with apparent precision, had been made to remove the hide around the cow's mouth on one side, leaving the meat under the removed hide untouched. The tongue was also completely removed from the body with no blood spill. It was noted there were no signs of struggle and the grass around the cow was undisturbed. No footprints or tire tracks were noted in the area. Ranchers also reported that no predators or birds would scavenge the remains of the cow, leaving it to decay untouched for several weeks. While looking into the Longhorn Cross's passing, five other similar occurrences involving four adult cows and one yearling were reported along the area of OSR running into Brazos County, as well as Robertson County. Each incident occurred in different locations, pastures and herds. The other cows were found in the same condition, lying on one side with the exposed side of their face cut along the jawline and the tongue, once again completely removed. On two of the five cows, a circular cut was made removing the insides. This circular cut was made with the same precision as the cuts noted around the jawlines of each cow. Just like the first, there were no signs of struggle or disturbance in the grass, no blood spill and no noticeable tracks. No predators or birds would scavenge the remains for several weeks after the animals passed. The cause of the expirations of all six cows remains unknown. Multiple similar incidents have been reported across the United States, and we are actively coordinating with other agencies to find answers. Please notify the Madison County Sheriff's Office if you or someone you know observes any similar occurrences. End quote. Cattle mutilation is a phenomenon in which cattle and other livestock are found in mysterious circumstances, often with their insides removed or mangled in a precise and surgical manner. This has been a topic of debate and controversy for several decades, with many speculating that advanced beings or secret government agencies are responsible for the mutilations. Oddly enough, many of these instances happen within the span of a few hours, with ranchers and eyewitnesses reporting that no human could have done this in such a short time span. One of the first reported cases dates back to the late 1960s in the United States, but ranchers have said that these strange events go back even further, and note that it was in the 1960s that the reports were picked up by newspapers. Farmers and ranchers began to notice their livestock passing away in strange ways, saying that in many cases, the animals were found with their udders, tongues and eyes removed, as well as strange circular marks on their skin. The marks appeared to be cauterized or burned, suggesting the use of some kind of surgical tool. The animals were also found without any signs of struggle or predation, leading to speculation that something otherworldly was responsible. Over the years, several theories have emerged to explain what is happening, with some believing that advanced beings are responsible, using the animals for medical experimentation or to study the effects of Earth's environment. Others believe that the government or military is involved, using the animals to test biological weapons or to experiment with advanced surgical techniques. But those who've studied the phenomenon have said that why would government officials risk getting caught, noting that the government owns private land and that it would be much easier to do this on some government facility rather than sneaking into a random farm. The Upper Ohio River Valley Investigation The earliest known study into sudden cattle expirations of the modern day began in the state of Ohio back in 1966 when an investigator known as John Keel began to look into a series of unexplainable cases that were recorded around the Upper Ohio River Valley. The cattle seemed to have passed away due to bizarre circumstances that were otherwise impossible to have occurred naturally. Instances of animal autopsies showed that a number of cattle had passed away shortly after falling from a great height, 
despite the fact that the pastures were wide expanses of flat, endless land, with no heights great enough to have caused the injuries recorded. Other instances noted that the cattle appeared to have been cut up with precision tools that created perfectly straight lines in the livestock in their thick hide that would have required special surgical equipment. A list of consistent findings were the following. Many of the livestock expirations were made with clean surgical cuts that would have required precise tools and equipment. Many of the cattle found had been completely drained of blood, showed no sign of spillage in the surrounding area or any form of clotting surrounding their wounds. Over 90% of the cattle that was targeted was between the age of 4 to 5 years old. No footprints, spillage, tracks or evidence of any other animal nearby could be found, including the tracks of the animal that had been found. These discoveries and subsequent livestock investigations stayed within the farming communities for several decades, without the general public aware of the events. One theory as to why mysterious aircrafts might be interested in cattle is related to the idea that they are using the animals for scientific research. Many of the body parts that are removed in cattle expiration cases are similar to those that would be taken in a scientific study. For example, the eyes might be removed to study the retina, or the organs might be taken to study the effects of radiation on cells. Some researchers also believe that the expirations are a form of biological sampling in order to study the effects of environmental toxins on the animals, with ranchers saying that strange burn marks have sometimes been found etched into the ground, and that there's been high levels of radiation measured after one of these expirations has happened. Another theory is that the cattle expirations are part of a larger agenda. Some people believe that mysterious aircrafts are interested in cattle because they are using them as a food source. Others believe that the expirations are part of a program where the animals are being genetically altered in some way. Although scientists and researchers have said that there is no concrete evidence to support these claims, as of right now, they remain popular among enthusiasts. Some researchers have also proposed that the expirations may be related to experimentation or surveillance. They suggest that some unknown agency may be testing new technology on cattle or using the animals as part of a surveillance program. While this theory is also largely unsupported, it is not outside the realm of possibility given the history of government experimentation on both animals and humans. The Mystery of the Skinwalker Ranch Encounter Skinwalker Ranch is no stranger to the supernatural. In fact, the area is so familiar with the unexplainable that it led to a joint investigation between the privately owned company Bigelow Aerospace and the United States government's military, the Department of Defense. Over a period of about 20 years, a joint investigation was made to uncover the cause of the paranormal, supernatural and mysterious sightings made across the area and determine whether or not the cause was a threat to national security. This led to the purchasing of a piece of land that would later be referred to as the Skinwalker Ranch due to the region's massive amount of sightings of a mysterious humanoid monster known as the Skinwalker. Interestingly enough, over the 20 years of investigation, a surprising amount of evidence came forward that would help to explain the previously believed paranormal causes into something far more evident of advanced technologies. One of the strangest examples of supernatural encounters from the Gorman family was that of the instantaneous cattle expiration that took place no more than about 20 feet away from them as they fed their livestock. According to the Gorman family, their cattle had been in a small field together with a baby calf resting beside its mother as the cows were being fed. Suddenly, the family claimed that the mother cow began bellowing sadly as it ran in circles with a partial limp that seemed to be a form of temporary paralysis. When the family walked to the cow to see what was wrong, they noticed that the calf had been opened up and picked completely clean with a precision that was more akin to surgical tools, and this happened in the few seconds it took them to walk from the calf down the field 20 feet and then back again. When the researchers investigated the expiration, they found that the hide of the calf was too thick to have been cut by a knife and would have required surgical tools and a large amount of time to have performed the procedure, leaving behind nothing but an untouched head and a skeleton picked completely clean. It's for this reason that some have suggested that a time slip might be happening within this area, pointing out that it's impossible for something like this to be carried out in such little time, saying that the area where this is located is completely open 
and that they would have seen vehicles or people running away. Oddly enough, although these stories seem like a work of fiction, there's so many ranchers throughout the area that report the same thing and have said that the problem is so bad that it's causing some of them to close down their business. One of the earliest investigations into cattle expirations was conducted in the 1970s by the FBI. The agency was brought in to investigate the expiration of a cow in New Mexico, which was found with its udder removed and completely drained. The FBI conducted an extensive investigation, including collecting physical evidence and interviewing witnesses. However, they were unable to determine the cause of the expiration and concluded that it was likely the result of natural causes or predators. Since then, many other investigations have been conducted into cattle expirations, with various organizations trying to find an explanation for the phenomenon. Many prominent organizations have investigated these mysterious events and have concluded that hundreds of cases of cattle expirations are not caused by people playing pranks and that many of their investigations have suggested that advanced activity may be involved. According to these investigations, many of the cattle expirations they have investigated exhibit strange characteristics that suggest the involvement of advanced beings. These characteristics include the surgical precision of the cuts made on the animals, the apparent lack of blood at the scene, and the absence of tracks or footprints near the site of the expiration. In some cases, Witnesses have also reported seeing strange lights or objects in the sky around the time of the expiration. Despite these claims, there is still no conclusive evidence linking cattle expiration to advanced activity or any other cause. Some skeptics suggest that the expiration are simply the work of human pranksters, while others believe that natural causes or predators are responsible. In some cases, it has been suggested that the expiration may be the result of animal testing by private organizations. As investigations into cattle expirations continue, it is clear that there is still much that is unknown about this strange phenomenon. However, the interest in and attention given to these cases have helped to raise awareness of the importance of investigating unexplained phenomena and the need for scientific rigor in such investigations. The ongoing search for answers also underscores the importance of keeping an open mind and considering all possible explanations, no matter how unlikely they may seem. As of right now, cattle expirations remain a mysterious phenomenon that has intrigued and puzzled investigators for decades. While many investigations have been conducted into these cases, the cause of the expirations remains unknown. The involvement of advanced activity has been suggested, but no conclusive evidence has been found to support this theory. As investigations into cattle expirations continue, it is important to approach the phenomenon with an open mind and a commitment to scientific rigor in the hope of one day unraveling the mystery behind these bizarre occurrences. So, what do you make of these mysterious cattle expirations? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.